Our approach to strategy development is based on a few simple principles that were developed at Stanford and Harvard in the 1960s. First, you want to gain clarity around your objectives, especially the trade-offs you're willing to make between those objectives. Then we develop a variety of creative strategies for achieving those objectives, as opposed to trying to find the best strategy right away. Next, we evaluate those strategies against how well they achieve your objectives, while you fully understand the range of possible outcomes which could result from each strategy. The finally, you want to use the insights you gain from these evaluations to create a better strategy than any of the ones you initially came up with. Now, how to achieve the points I've just listed isn't all that important. There are a variety of tools which can be used at each stage, such as decision hierarchy, crystal ball, objectives hierarchy, you name it. But ultimately, making a confident strategic decision requires clearly understanding what you're trying to do, what your options are, and what the range of possible outcomes looks like for each of those options. The process of methodically thinking your way through these issues generates non-intuitive insights. You then use these insights to come up with an excellent strategic solution to your situation. The phases you go through to develop this understanding are called discovery, and you move on to framing and evaluation. From here, you make a strategic choice upon which you do your planning and then implementation, which are very critical steps to ensuring long-term success of your initiative. If you're interested in learning more about our approach and what we do at Decision Strategies, please contact us at www.decisionstrategies.com or call us at 713-255-8349.